Oh, hello. Didn't see you there. Come in, come in. Welcome to my humble abode. Today I shall recount to you a tale of yore from my book of lore. Many millennia ago, in the world of Azarin, there was a time when mortals lived under the watchful eyes of the gods. This time of tranquility was interrupted when Vishan, one of the twin gods of death, defied the other gods and was cast out of the heavens. Vishan wasted no time, building a grand necropolis to raise an army of the dead and fight the other gods. After years of devastating war, the gods and their mortal followers successfully defeated Vishan, with the gods sacrificing themselves to do so. Since then, Vishan's essence has laid dormant in the underworld, but even as he sleeps, he whispers lies and half-truths into the minds of mortals in an attempt to escape his prison. Hello again. Seems like you've gotten through the stick figure narrative exposition part of the video. The reason I put that in there is I wanted to explain the significance of the build as a part of the lore of my world. I actually intended to put this video out for Halloween, but my motivation to work on the project dwindled a lot during that time. As I'm creating the terrain for this build, I'm thinking about the effect the necropolis would have on the landscape. The idea I had was that the dark magic warped the sands around the area, forming black cracks in the ground and tainting the waters. I painted the dark rocks with a slightly angled cylinder in different dark brown blocks to give a desert layer effect. For the light rocks I used a noise pattern and tried to give them a bleached bone color. This first pyramid was actually inspired by the Nubian pyramids in Sudan, which are proportionally taller than the ones in Egypt. They are also darker which inspired the palette for the build. Here I made a statue of Vishan in all his glory. I like building him because I already have a pretty good image in my mind of what he looks like. I just had to translate it into blocks. Although it's pretty large already, I will eventually try and make an even bigger build of him. Here's where I come up with the detailing for this build. I use a combination of designs reminiscent of ancient Egypt, such as pyramids and stripes, and combine them with more European arches for a unique look that I think turned out well. Now I make another pyramid, this time making it diagonal. I go on to decorate it with skeletal designs such as adorning the top with spikes and putting a skull on the entrance. For the interior, I place staircases going up to different levels within the pyramid. The bottom is filled with skulls, candles, and decorated pots which can double as canopic jars for storing organs of the dead. At the top, I place a large necrotic crystal, which uses the souls of the deceased to power the necropolis. Now I pave some roads into the ground. I think this corner here is a good spot for some obelisks. It takes me a little time to get a good design for them. I also came up with the idea of making these golden lines in the roads. Because there aren't really any good golden colored slabs, I resort to using mud bricks in the inclined areas.
Here I may have taken the concept of a rib vault a little too literally. For the inner necropolis, I basically take a lot of the details I've already established and use them throughout the cave area. For this wall, I reuse the hallway I made earlier, as well as the skull and the pyramid, which I will put above the entry gate. Now expand downwards to make a lower area with the sewer pool. At the end of the cave, I build one last pyramid, this time with three distinct layers connected together with arches. I made this area into a library for all kinds of forbidden necromantic scrolls and tomes. Over here, I was detailing this wall as normal, but it started to look like a face, so I kind of just ran with it and made a giant skull-shaped wall. To finish off the build, I make this giant column Again, I use a skull from before as well as making bony decoration. A lot of the necropolis turned out to be pretty rinse and repeat, which is probably what made it so hard for me to finish, but ultimately I think I made it at least somewhat presentable. But what did you think of this build? Comment down below.